Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news from DC. She blamed it on a bad cold. Send her to prison. This is what happens when you are a United States senator but should instead be running the weekly bingo event at a senior care facility. In what is being labeled as more shenanigans from the Democrat Party, the anti-Second Amendment Senator Dianne Feinstein of California appeared to blame a bad cold for the controversial way she handled the unlawful release of an interview transcript with the co-founder of the firm behind the anti-Trump dossier, Fusion GPS. The California senator and top Democrat on the Senate Judiciary Committee caused quite a mess when committee chairman Chuck Grassley, Republican Iowa found out she had released this transcript earlier this week without consulting and getting the approval from him first. In a later interview, Senator Feinstein confirmed to a reporter that she regrets not speaking to Grassley beforehand. And of all things, she blamed her cold as a possible factor for her misdeed. She went on to say that the one regret she had was that she should have spoken with Senator Grassley before releasing the transcripts and that she makes no excuse but only that she had a bad cold that maybe slowed down her mental facilities a little bit. Huh? Fox News reports. Trump blasts sneaky Dianne Feinstein for releasing Fusion GPS transcript. President Trump slammed sneaky Dianne Feinstein Wednesday after the Democratic senator released the transcript of a congressional interview with the co-founder of the firm behind the anti-Trump dossier, claiming the move was possibly illegal. The fact that sneaky Dianne Feinstein, who has on numerous occasions stated that collusion between Trump, Russia has not been found, would release testimony in such an underhanded and possibly illegal way, totally without authorization is a disgrace. Must have tough primary. Trump tweeted Wednesday. Feinstein, Democrat California, the ranking member on the Senate Judiciary Committee, unilaterally released the 312-page transcript of Fusion GPS co-founder Glenn Simpson's August interview with committee investigators. The release provoked controversy on Capitol Hill, with a spokesman for committee chairman Chuck Grassley, Republican Iowa slamming Feinstein's move as confounding. Spokesman Taylor Foy said she made the decision without consulting the chairman and warned the move jeopardized other highly sought witness testimony. Feinstein unilaterally releases transcript of Glenn Simpson on Trump dossier. Feinstein, who faces re-election this year, said she released the transcript because the American people deserve the opportunity to see what he said and judge for themselves. Moments after Trump slammed Feinstein, he then returned to bashing the ongoing Russia investigation. The single greatest witch hunt in American history continues. There was no collusion, everybody including the Democrats knows there was no collusion, but yet on and on it goes. Russia and the world are laughing at the stupidity they are witnessing. Republicans should finally take control Trump tweeted. The president's tweets come as his lawyers prepare for the possibility that special counsel Robert Mueller's team will ask to conduct an interview with Trump himself as part of the Russia probe. At this point, there has been no official request by Mueller's office to interview the president. It is possible an interview will not take place. Trump's lawyers consider possible interview of president by Mueller team. But Feinstein's release of the testimony drew attention back to all things Russia. The hundreds of pages of Simpson's responses were rich with revelations about Fusion GPS, its work and its investigation into Trump, which began in September 2015. One passage, in particular, drew heavy attention, where Simpson's lawyer claimed someone had been killed over the dossier's publication. He wants to be very careful to protect his sources, Simpson's attorney Josh Levy said during the August 22 committee interview. Somebody's already been killed as a result of the publication of this dossier and no harm should come to anybody related to this honest work. Somebody's already been killed because of the dossier, Fusion GPS rep revealed. Levy did not elaborate on who was killed, and congressional investigators did not follow up with any questions about his claim. Neither a spokesperson for Grassley nor Feinstein responded to Fox News' request for comment on why investigators did not follow up with questions on the serious charge made by Levy. 
The dossier was written by former British MI6 agent Christopher Steele. Fusion GPS, which hired Steele, was funded by the Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee. The findings eventually made their way to the FBI. The dossier was published on BuzzFeed News in January 2017. What is this? A sitting United States senator is blaming a cold for breaking the law by releasing a document which should have stayed confidential at least for the time being. This woman should be committed. How many of us can make a huge mistake like this in our job or business and still have our jobs? This woman should do the correct thing and resign. It's apparent she should be nowhere near any position of power. This woman should have retired from public office 20 years ago. Please share if you agree Senator Feinstein should resign immediately, immediately.